Hey everybody, it's Scott Simcoe Spring Service and uh, we're going to do a nice little short video for you today and uh, we're going to show you how we split the helper off of a Ford F250 slash F350 spring. Um, so these were around from 1999 till uh, 2008 and the helper was always attached to it. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to split it so it's easier to install and a little lighter to work with. So you can see here the spring is a uh, broken here we're actually going to replace the bottom half of the spring and we're going to save the top half and the block so the first thing you need to do is whenever you're splitting a helper from the main spring pack you want to make sure that you have roughly about an inch of space because the top of the bolt and the bottom of the bolt have to have room to interact in the block and not hit each other in the block you need to have all this stuff be able to get clamped down with the u-bolts so first things first i'm going to take the old shackle off and it's in fairly decent shape, so we're actually going to save it and put it on the new spring pack. And then we're going to cut this apart, and then need to save this piece, the block, and the shackle. Throw it in the trash and we'll grab the new one. So now we're going to drill this out to 25 30 seconds, and that will allow the uh, nut and the head of the center bolt to be able to go into the same uh, diameter hole. Shop clean. Yeah, yeah. So now that we have that cleaned out, it'll fit both the uh, head of the center bolt and the nut in there. And you'll see why it's important in a moment. So next, we're going to clean this up right here. We're going to get all that scab off of there. Now we're going to put a center bolt in the helper leaf and we're going to actually tighten it up and it'll be almost like its own little spring pack.
<clears throat> so I had this marked as front. And the inside of the block, you can actually see it says front. So I'll go in there like that. And then now this center bolt will go straight into there. And there you go. Now I'll get the other spring and I'll show you exactly how we put it together in the vehicle. So if this center bolt's sitting too high, I'm just gonna cut it off so it doesn't interfere and hit on the center bolt that's in the little helper. So now when I put this together, it should fit just right. So there you go. And that's how we separate the helper from the main spring pack. Make it a lot easier to install and it just saves us a little stress on our backs every time we lift them in. And it's a little easier for doing the maintenance next time too.